Yo, 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 guys. <gasps> Say hey, subscribe today. Let's play it for your eleven way. And today, we are gonna be making... Da -da 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 Frieza's Havaka! Frieza, 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 Frieza! And the reason we're doing that is because of a Twitter vote, a Twitter poll that I hosted quite a long time ago now. But the main vote, the least vote was actually for fighting stuff, I was surprised. I guess the hardcore fans actually like me building stuff, which is weird. I thought they would like me fighting stuff, but that is fine! Because I planned for both. <laughs> Although we're not gonna do both. We're gonna build Frieza's hovercar today. If you don't like that premise, don't worry. You can leave at any time you wish. I'm not gonna hold it against you whatsoever. But to make Frieza's hovercar, we're gonna make it purely out of what we see here. And I can tell you right now that I have already done this, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, the amount of times I've spent in the creative world just playing around making stuff for Naruto and DBC. I am a nerd. <laughs> Funny thing is, I would love to just live my life doing that. I could live my life just building stuff. But probably not all the time in Minecraft. So, what we're going to need for this is we're going to need a lot of these air balloons. Now, to make an air balloon, you simply need some wool and some string. To make different dyed air balloons, you need the color of wool and the string. Which, to dye wool, you only need the dye. So, the dyes that we're going to need today are, of course, black dye. Because Frieza's hover chair thingy is black. And uh, we're also going to need orange. Now, I know when I put this on screen... It looks like uh, brownie, brownie orange, but uh, I played around with that in creative, and in my personal opinion, orange looks better, so we're gonna put orange on it. And I'm pretty sure when I put the hover pod thing up on Twitter, people might have thought I meant the spaceship. No, no, that is for another time, but right now we're gonna do his hover carts. I'm gonna use it as much as I can, because obviously it's a hover cart, goddamn. Uh, if I find a way to make ships faster, I will, but I have no idea. This is the first time I'm playing with this mod. Which is why I was surprised that what I tried worked the first time. I, I did not expect that. Uh, we're gonna need... Let's see, Incubus, Incubus, where are you? Incubus, I don't see any ink. What about down here? If I don't have any ink, then I'll simply cut. You know how to get ink by now. You just simply go to a squid and punch it once, and it dies. Because it's a squid, and it's stupid. Stupid squid. Squidded. Okay, no. I'm going to have to go bash an incubus real quick. And get some, uh, get some ink. So I will be right back. Oh, look what I happen to find. A bunch of Inca pies. Dead. 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 <laughs> Evil laugh like Kariro. <laughs> I am not good at acting. Oh. I'm starting to wonder why I've never done this before. Because this is by far the best way to get food. In Dragon Box C. Like, seriously, the amount of ocean space near Roshi spawns a lot of these squid. And just just look, I've got 17 right here. I, I mean, this is the best way to get food if you, of course, have Pam's Harvest with the Dragon Lock Sea mod. Yeah. Right, so now that we've got the dye, all we have to do is dye a bunch of this stuff uh, that color. I'm going to just do that. And then we're going to put the string on it, and boom, we got a bunch of it. Uh, if we need more, I can get more. Now, to get orange, we all know what we have to do, which is simply get some yellow and red dye. I have red dye. I don't believe I have yellow. Oh, no, I do have yellow flowers. And there should be some possession over at the uh, ring. Now, another thing that we are going to need is the steam engine, which is just iron around a furnace with a water bucket on top. We don't have a water bucket, so bup, bup, bup. 
Let's go get some water. And I suppose we should sleep for the night so there's less mobs. And then we need to get the other component, which I don't know the name of right now because I don't have any eye up. Hurry up! Sleep! There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. We need the ship's helm, which is simply iron and wood. So I'll make those real quick. Furnace, water bucket, iron, done. Oh, and I get the water bucket back. Nice. Sticks. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, doop. boop. Wah, ship's helm. And now we just need one of these, which I'm not sure how you make. Oh, okay, that that's easy enough. Glass, gold, and uh, redstone. Well, I got the redstone and the gold, so I guess glass is all I need. I will be right back once I have that. Aha! I have the glass. Boop. Do 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 do. Banana banana. Boo do do do. Banana na boop boo do 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 I'm a charge in my attack. And that should be all we need for now. And yes, of course, we're gonna build it inside of Capsule Corp and then take it for a spin, a test drive. A uh, uh we're gonna drive it. Mm, training room and parking lots. This is where we wanna construct it. So, for starters, what we're going to need right now is just a material to get rid of. And this marble will do. Then we're going to actually need some of white air balloons. About three, no, four. We're going to need four white air balloons. And so, if we pop up Freezer Spaceship on the side there, we can note how it actually looks. So we need to go boop. Oh, I miscalculated. And at the back here, we want the engine, simply so we can put the fuel on. Which, you know, all you have to do is put that in, and it's not going to do anything until we build the rest of the ship. Which is pretty easy to do. All we need is the base of the ship. Which is basically, ba basically, wow, that, that was not even funny. That. I miscalculated. Okay, so I just had to look in my creative world to see what I was doing, and one thing I will mention is, unfortunately, we can't make it look exactly like it does in the show. But, I'm pretty sure we can get near. So to do that, all we have to do is do, -do calculate where we want things to go because I didn't take a picture and I forgot already that's very very good of me isn't it I'm forgetting already so so far I would say that's pretty good but uh, I don't know what do you guys think so far I would say it looks alright but that's just me and my opinion is very diverse from most commenters. But that's okay. We need more dark black wool. Give me that black wool right now. I think that's all we need. That should be all we need to finish the ship. The ship is not very big, luckily for us. So I can get it done in just a simple episode like this. So, we need a round base. Uh, the sides here are not orange. I thought they would be, but instead, it's more like I've got to put those on the side. Looks a bit weird right now. It doesn't look like Freezer's ship much, but I can't really get 100% into it. Uh, okay. Another thing that I forgot that we need is a chair. Oh, that's just three wool? Really? Okay. See, some of these things I panic about, and I think, oh no, I'm gonna make it all wrong. And and then I go look at things, and I'm just like, oh no, no, no I'm, I'm doing it fine. And then I get happy. And that is the cycle of me. 
There we go. We put the pressure gauges on top so I can see them. And we look around the ship to see what else needs placing. I believe the sides might need to go out a little. It might be nice to have... Uh, well, the back's got to come in at the top, so I can't have that there. Um, it might go out the sides here. But I'm not sure. So far, something doesn't seem right. But I'm not sure what. And if you guys, like... No way to make this look better, but keep the function. Please tell me. Why isn't that working? There we go. So far, this looks fine to me. It doesn't exactly uh, resemble the show, but it does enough for me to credit it as for his ship. That should be all. You see, what these things are is they are hot air balloon balloons. And they contain air. Now, since this is a game, and it's a mod, the air doesn't exactly work like a real hot air balloon. If you put a bunch of these together, this should technically all be air, but it's not. What it is, is uh, the block on top, this one, here, detects if all of these are connected to it. In some way, shape, or form. I could, I could have wood in between... Uh, this block here and this block here but it would still detect that this block is part of it see this this is the core of the entire ship it detects what's attached to it which is why i removed that block just because i don't want the ground going with it and uh it's detecting right now that all of these balloons are attached to it now it determines its flight capabilities by the weight of the balloon uh, which is calculated by each block and how many air balloons there are. You can see why I made this thing entirely out of air balloons because one, it's a cheap material, two, it doesn't weigh much, and three, the more you have, the better flight capability this will have. And this thing at the bottom is the steam engine fuel. Now, steam is made by water mixing with. Uh, this right here is the steam engine that goes at the back of the ship. I just put it there because it's kind of the same color as these and it's just easy to have it there. Plus it gives me a reason to get off the ship just to check the fuel. But you can put charcoal and coal in here and it'll mix to make steam fuel which is used in most hot air balloons. Well, hot air balloons work by a fire producing steam that goes into uh, the balloon which leaves into flight, but here it works a bit differently because this is basically just used for the fuel to go uh, up, down, left, right, uh, forward, backward, that kind of thing. And these gauges, they don't really tell you much. <laughs> they, they just look cool, so I wanted them there. And then this chair, you do genuinely sit down in it when you fly and you, you can fly for quite a while. Uh, so, this does not look like it will fly right now, and you're probably wondering, well, how does it fly if you've never seen this mod before? But I'm going to show you. So I click on here, we see the ship's status, the ship's name, I'm going to rename the ship to Frieza's Hovercart. Frieza's Hovercart. Now, I would... I would call it Frieza with two E's, but I know most Americans spell it with an I, so I'm doing that. So done renaming, and if I assemble the ship, it'll assemble, it'll tell me the status is okay, the type is an airship, there are 55 blocks in total, there are 51 air blocks, so it's 92% air, and there's three tile entities. And it's got a mass of around two kilograms, so I could literally grab this thing and uh, do bicep curls with it as if it were a weight. It'd be a very lightweight though. So I don't have a bed around here. I'm going to go to the cave. No, I'm not. I'm going to go to the shed, sleep for the night to get rid of all the mobs, and then we are going to take it on a test run. Very nice shower. So I will be right back. All right. It's time. 
Now, there are ways that I... Oh, no, 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 no. Can't have you doing it. Why are there so many of you? Get out of my place! You two... No! You! And you! You know what? You two, too. Get out! God damn it, pests! I need a guard around here. Oh, and speaking of which, I saw a lot of the comments for the secretary name. And there are so many good ones, but one that I spot made me laugh. And it was like, Raditz should be it because... Uh, no, Raditz should be a security guard because he wasn't good enough for anything else in the series. And I thought, that makes me laugh, but I, security guards are bad up there. So he's gonna be our janitor. <laughs> Raditz the janitor. And he is going to be cleaning the floors and mopping up with his hair. His long, oversized, Super Saiyan 3 hair. Wouldn't it be a laugh if, like, Raditz went Super Saiyan 3 and he got Goku's hair? <laughs> because it just happens that you swap hair with your brother or something. Uh, anyway, got fuel, got air balloons, got everything. We're going to assemble the ship. Uh, boop. And now, mount the ship. We're on the ship. How do we move? This thing looks so big compared to me. Well, I've got mine bound to different keys, but if I press this button, we're going up. We're going up. We're going up. Okay, and now forward. Yep, that's working. That's going right. We're not going very fast, but that's okay. We need to speed up. Oh my god, it's working. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a bit hard when you turn, but that's fine. Oh my god, it's working. Ah, let's fly to the world tournament. Let's go up a bit. We need to gain some altitude. All right, all right, all right. That's that's fine. That's fine there. Ah, we can fly around the world in that magnificent ship. Oh, it's so good. Now, there are different ways that I could have made this today, ladies and gentlemen. I could have used um, Pistronics somehow. I could have used... Oh, let's go up a bit. Up, 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 up. Don't want to hit the session. Uh, I could have used Pistronics. I could have used... Uh, there's a frames mod that I have installed, which I could have used. Uh, let's just park here. Press this button to... Yep, there we go. I parked it above the world tournament. <laughs> uh, I could have used Pistronics. I could have used the frames mod. What's, what's it called? Funky, lo funky Locomotive, I think. Yep, there it is. Funky Locomotion. And I could have used that to make a ship as well. I'm going to use that for like the main freezer ship because that way I can have different blocks attached and uh, it'll it'll work more like a home. This is kind of like just a device to travel on and personally I like it. I, I think it's rather fun. Uh, I wanted to attach micro blocks for like the white outline at the top. The trouble is this thing can't detect micro blocks. It does not detect them as a viable block. All right, so I gotta assemble the ship again and mount the ship, and we can fly once more. Uh, the trouble is, it takes a while to gain speed. So if I were to guess, if I break right now, yeah, the blue one is speed. Uh, if I go up, uh, I can't see which one of these is up. Or down, actually. I don't know which one of these is our altitude. But uh, the one in the top left right there, that's our compass. And I'm not sure what the other things do, actually. Uh, one's definitely fuel. One of them has to be fuel. Which, I don't know how much fuel this thing has, so I'm gonna go park it back in Capsule Corp real quick. And... Uh, one other thing is I do wish that I could have, like, found a way to put this in a capsule. Maybe a self-assembly thing? <gasps> I might have just figured out a way to put this in a capsule, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll work on capsules another time because that requires uh, me to work on the Androids project a little bit first. Ooh. Okay, okay, now to park this. This is going to be hard. So I want to go backwards and I want to go down. At least I'm, like, figuring this out where you guys- Oh god, how do I go down? 
Is it control? No. Do I have it set to the other shift? I swear it was down a page. Hang on. Down. Oh, wait. No, it's down. There we go. Okay. Down. Backward. Down. Backward. This requires a lot of skill. Eh. I mean, this is like one of the first times I've ever used the mod, so... Okay, up, 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 down, 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 down. Up, 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 down, down, down. How, how are we doing for parking? Alright, let's back up a little. Beep, 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 beep. Let's go down a little. Down a little bit more. There, about, about there. And then break. And assemble. Oh, I lost it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to break the floor next time we fly. But that is fine. That is absolutely fine. We have a ship. We have Freezer's Hovercart now. Ah, that was a good project, ladies and gentlemen. So, next time, because I have already run out of time, surprisingly, for this episode, what are we going to do next time? Let's just grab my handy sign here. Uh, boop. Let's see. Things we should work on. Uh, I'm going to take the stuff that we should have... Well, stuff that I put on last time. So there's Sublab. Uh, we're using Industrial Craft 2. There's Android Zero, where we'll be working on AI. Uh, there's going to be fighting stuff, of course. That's going to be the last option, though. Fighting stuff... That's going for the general story or just fighting stuff in general or training. And uh, what else should there be? I'll introduce a new project. Project. Uh, let's see. We haven't worked on the world tournament in a while. So world tournament. Tor Torny. WT ring. That's World Tournament Ring. So, I'm going to have a poll up on Twitter again after this video. Please go check it out and vote on it. Because I will not be taking any votes made in the comments. And uh, we'll decide which one of these you should go with. Well, you'll decide which one of these. And I'll just do whatever's listed next episode. But now we have our first vehicle. It looks ugly. <laughs> but it is what I made it. Uh, thank you all for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next time. This has been The Sane Scientist. Bye-bye!